Our turn. Thank you, Mr. Duke. Won't have it again. committing immortal sin just sitting here. <laughs> They're all atheists. They don't just put it at them. I heard you were thinking of time, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, think about a lot of things. Haven't you seen enough of them in here? Why don't you keep your nose clean and get out? Boredom? Nah. Never was much good at that. Pass the time. You don't hear me moan, do you, Mr. Duke? I smile. I smile all the time. You're loosen the head, man. Yeah. You know, when I was in the scrubs, sweating it out in that filthy cell, well, I had this matchbox. And on that matchbox, it said, it takes 60 muscles to fret, but only 13 to smile. So why waste energy? See? Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's nothing in here either, right? Nothing. You know, when I was outside, I always used to remind myself that you can take something good from every situation, but the only thing I'll take from Borsman is evil. That's because you don't bloody tell the line. No, no, it's not, it's not bad, Mr. Duke. Take Mr. Goodge, right? You rattles out bullshit. Morning, noon, and night without character building. <laughs> but it's impossible. It's not on. How can anybody build a character in, in a regime that's built on deprivation? It's a one way contamination. Good, fine minds thrown in with crazy, perverted people. What am I doing here? Why am I on another wing where there might at least be somebody to talk to? Well, it could be civilized. I'm always looking over my shoulder. Just not a screw at me, it's calm. Why was my central open, Nick? You're far too old for this, lad. I'll give you that. You should have been given a prison sentence. <laughs> right. You're right. You know, I was happy in prison. I have to spend the rest of my time. Looking after a bunch of snotty nosed hooligans. How long have you gone? Far too long. That's an empty sentence, Mr. Duke. One way or another in prisons. Public service, aren't you? Some of that lot are happy, actually happier than me. <laughs> yeah, it's called institutionalised. It's the cure. How oh, that? Well, in here, you act, you're punished, and you're free. But outside, Right there, you act, you're punished by your own guilt complexes and you never do. What little book did you get that from? This one. Certainly not what's on offer in here. Ah, look, Mr. Duke, I, I don't wish to underestimate your life's work, but the punitive system does not work. I mean, my experience of abortion convinces me that there's more criminal acts 
impose upon prisoners than by criminals on society. Convinces you, eh? Fancy half of that lot running up and down your street. Fancy your mother attacking that lot on the rampage. No, you don't. So what do you do about it, eh? Come on, tell me. What do you do about it? I, I talk about it first. Like where do? Talk's bullshit. You lock them up. But also consider what happens to the guardians. What's your that? No, look, no, I'm serious, Mr. Jim. Take yourself. For a weekly wage, you've been locking up men and boys for most of your walking life, right? Now, hanging down your leg is a keychain. Your keychain. And the length of that chain indicates the time you've spent in the service. You, you may not have been fortunate in terms of promotion, but the length of that chain gives you rank over other officers of similar rank only. But at the same time, it serves as a constant reminder that though you have spent your life in the prison service, you are still only a basic officer. Now, who gets the stick for that? Who pays for that daily humiliation? That's it, Archer! And you can wipe that smile off your fucking face before I knock it off! Name and number! 4721, Archer, sir. I give you my fucking coffee, and you think you can sit there and take the piss out No, it didn't, sir. I never get a chance to express myself. As well as you don't. I was only concerned about men being stripped of their dignity. Screws and cons. Well, it's that much different in here, you know? You're on report for incidents. And sit up, straight. Yes, sir.